okay so welcome guys once again so today we are going to see about arrest first topic and then we will moving to the next topics okay so for that let me just create one demo 9 dot html <clears throat> okay this is done now what we want to do over here we want to understand about array array is also a data type in javascript okay so what is basically array when we create like let's have a script tag over here suppose i create let name equal to name equal to dev okay this is basically an variable what i have created name is a variable over here why you can see over here the value what i have stored over here is a single value okay is a single value and suppose if i uh, create a, a variable which is n1 equal to 3 okay this is also another variable okay what if I want to store multiple values? What if I want to store multiple values in the same variable? Is it possible? No, it is not possible for this uh, kind of variable what we have created over here. Okay, so array is a collection of uh, we can say we, we store multiple data. We can so say multiple uh, records if you want to store in a single variable that is called an array. Okay, so this is over here. You can see it's giving me an error. So let me just convert this thing into an array. So for converting this thing into an array, we have to use square brackets. Now see this error will go away. You can see now very well. Now, this name variable has become an array. Okay. Now, this uh, name variable has become an array. And in this, I can store n number of values, whatever I want to store. Okay. And this values, whatever are stored over here, they will be having their specific index values as well. So, over here, they will be having index value of 0. Vishwakarma will be having index value of 1. If I add something new also, say Mumbai, this will be having index value. Mumbai will be having index value of 2. So these are the things what we have to discuss. And with the help of this, we will be able to access uh, our required data whatever we want to show on our screen or like on our website or web page okay so for that let's create an array and after that what we want to do we want to access that particular data on our screen uh, we want to show that data on our screen so let's see that just hold down i think my internet speed is little bit slow now i got an error i got a pop-up message okay Okay, so what I want to do, I want to first of all start my live preview over here and over here what I want to do, I want to create a paragraph. Okay, before that let's create h1 array and over here let's give an id, uh, my data, okay. Now this is uh, this has become now an array. So what we want to do over here, 
I want to document dot get element by ID. Uh, ID is my data. Okay. Suppose I want to show this particular array. So I can call that particular array over here and I will be able to see all my data, whatever is stored in this particular array. Okay. What if I want to show only Mumbai or I want uh, only uh, they have to be shown over here, not the others. Okay. So in that scenario, we will be accessing those uh, array items with the help of index values. So suppose if I want uh, Dev, I will be putting 0. If I want Mumbai, I will be putting 2. If I put 1, we show color. Okay. Something like that we can do with the help of array. Okay. So how we can create arrays? We have to just uh, see. We can create arrays something like this. Okay. And let's have another array example over here. And over here, let me have my data one. Now, let's see. Let students equal to empty array. Let students equal to empty array. So over here, what it is happening, we have created an array. But the thing is that in that we do not have any data. Okay. In that we do not have any data. So what I want new. Okay. Now over here. I want something like there is a method of push. Okay. If I Okay, so if I want to add some data in my array, I can use this method, okay, uh, push method to put any data in my array. Okay, this is one of the uh, way how we can do that. And what next we have, suppose this data now will be getting pushed at the index value of zero, okay, by default, because this is the first data what we are inserting into our array now suppose i want to have a data students dot not dot students i want at the first index value i want something equal to l name okay l name so for that what i'm going to do let l name l name equal to prompt what is your last name something like this okay what is your last name okay and i am asking that from the user and the, and the data, whatever that user fills in, in that particular prompt, that will be stored in my L name variable. And I am saying that in students uh, array at the index value of one, please add that particular L name. Okay. So let's see this in live server. So you can see over here, we are getting over 
okay okay that is done but over here we do not have any thing saying that last name is added okay so what we want to do in our code we want to we want to display full full array okay we want to display full array so like that we can have something this this will be little bit uh, confusing to you all like over here you can see uh, we are not getting that because over here on live uh, preview we do not get uh, prompts so let it be i'm just closing that so this is also one of the way how you can create an empty array and you can with the help of prompt you can get all the data from the user whatever you want from the user and after that you can store that data in your array and later on you can use that uh, you can use that data wherever you want to display or wherever you want to do some calculation or anything so something that also can be done okay now next method of now next method of creating an array is something like let's have const variable equal to const uh, subjects we can write skills skills okay here we what we can do we can specify i want to create an array okay the skills will be an array and in that i will be having some data something like this and after that what we can do we can straight away call this and you can see over here i am getting that data okay same way similarly what i can do i can target index wise well. if i put one i am getting css if i put two i am getting javascript if i put zero i am getting html okay so something like that also we can do uh, this is another way how we can create an array okay so let's have new new thing okay so what we can do over here another way suppose if you have some data okay in the form of uh, we can say objects in the form of objects okay so what we can do because arrays also can
okay we have a question okay so what we can do over here we can have something like uh, we can do something like this as well one okay over here plus okay we can see over here we are getting uh, this thing like uh, over here this one will give us HTML and this one will give us CSS and over here why I am using plus symbol because I want to keep this HTML and I want to add CSS okay I want to add CSS over here what I can do I can have something like this as well space plus now you can see over here what i'm getting html and css similarly if i want to have uh, one and two css and javascript if i want to have so you can do something like this as well is it fine uh, shubham now Okay, fine. Okay. So let me just comment out this thing as well. Okay. Now, what we are going to see now, next thing is arrays are a simple uh, and special type of objects, basically. Okay. And over here, we are going to create uh, some objects and we are going to print them accordingly. Okay. So suppose if you have a uh, const emp1 employee1 one equal to okay equal to now over here see what we can do we can create an array something like this also which will be uh, called as uh, object javascript object that can be referred as okay so over here what i can write i can have name equal to dev oh sorry not equal to it will be colon name dev okay next comma we should have okay l name e uh, colon Okay, next, uh, suppose I want to have a mobile number as well now. Let's have mobile something like this. Next, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, something like this. Now, what I want to do over here, I want to target my document, document dot get element by ID, my data, my data dot inner HTML equal to, now what I want to have, I have this objects, okay, so what I want, I want to print mobile number only, okay. If you do not want to use index values, okay, I want to uh, print mobile number only. So what I can do, I can say from employee one, give me mobile, give me mobile. Now you can see you have the mobile number. Only. I can say from employee one, give me L name. I can see over here L name. So something like this also you can work on uh, using array in your JavaScript. Next, let's see uh, what is this basically length. Property okay, of 
arrays. Okay, so let me just uh, okay this one only. Let's use this thing, these two things. Okay, over here, what I want to do, I want to have document dot get element by ID my data one my data one dot inner html equal to equal to i want name dot length name dot length also so what is happening over here, you can see over here, I have three elements over here. Okay, that is why I'm getting three over here. If, as soon as I write 738717597. Can you see that over here? As soon as I change the number of uh, elements in that particular array, I'm getting this particular length updated so with the help of length we will be able to do this okay why i have shown this length because we will be using uh, we might be using a length property when we want to print something on our screen okay something what let's have uh over here let me create uh h2 id equal to frag frag okay for Okay, for, for loop I'm using over here, for i equal to zero. Okay, for i equal to zero, i is less than name dot length, okay, i plus plus over here what i want to do document dot get element frag you can see over here what i'm getting so what i have done over here is that i wanted to print all these items one below the other okay one below the other i wanted to print so for that what i have done i have used for loop over here okay and after that i have initialized my value over here that will be zero okay and i have asked i have, I have given a condition like until the length of this particular name array is completed till then you have to Keep printing everything, whatever you have in that particular array. Okay. So after that, uh, after printing first element, you have to increment and then you have to print another as well. That activity has to be performed until the length of the uh, array is completed. Okay. So by default over here, you can say here we are getting value as 4. That is why we are getting everything. You can say that a name dot length, this property what we have used, this is giving us an result which is 4. Okay. So that also was giving us 4. If what if happens if I add something else over here? Okay. Let's have add umber not. Okay. 
did you did we get this particular element over here no why because we have hard coded this particular condition over here we have given a value hard coded value which is 4 okay so over here the element number of elements 1 2 3 4 okay those four elements are getting printed and over here this fifth element which is added later on that is not getting printed over here so the use of this particular thing name dot length property okay will be used over here you can see now we can add any data We can add any data, n number of data. Now that data will be listed in this way only. If you are using name dot length method. Okay. So these are the things uh, what I wanted you all to uh, demonstrate in array of JavaScript. Hope uh, all these things are understood to each and everyone. If you have any question or doubts, just let me know in the chat box, please, so that uh, we can move ahead. Did you all get all the topics what we have uh, covered till now in today's session? Is there any problem uh, in understanding anything? Just let me know so that I can just uh, demonstrate it again. Okay, that is also another topic uh, what uh, you are saying. Okay, do while loop in JavaScript. Okay, so that also is uh, basically uh, similar to while loop only. Okay, uh, in this scenario, what happens like uh, over here, we have to specify like in do, uh, do section, we have to specify what activity has to be done. Activity means what? what things we want to uh, uh, print on the screen and in while block we have to specify the condition okay so don't worry we will see that as well so over here what i wanted to show you all one uh, method uh, event method that is called on click method okay on click method i wanted to show you i think uh, we have already discussed on click method when we uh, discussed uh, what uh, functions i think if i'm not wrong yes on click so this is the event on click event we are using on this button and as soon as we click on this particular button this particular function, whatever function is called in that particular on click event, that is getting triggered, and we are getting some uh, over here. You can see uh, we were getting some uh, pop ups, and uh, depending upon the input, whatever user has put, that is showing us the result. Okay, something like this. So, this was the thing. And next thing, what we want to do over here is. Um, we have to deal with dates. Dates in JavaScript. Okay.
so for that let's understand how we can do that demo 10 dot html uh what is this Okay, okay. Evolve method you mean to say. Correct? Uh, if I'm not wrong. Okay, so basically the thing is that evolve uh, method is now uh, not recommended. So do you have any requirement of that? Uh, uh, so just let me know so that I can just uh, go through that particular topic as well. Otherwise, I do not think like uh, that is required over here. Okay, uh, so the thing is that uh, I would not recommend to use Evolve. Okay, the thing whatever we can use with Evolve uh, method that can be achieved with the help of functions as well. Okay, so the thing is that uh, that there is nothing uh, we can say which uh, we can deal with more uh, significant thing with the help of evolve okay only the thing is that we will be getting uh, those things like if you want to show uh, let me just have an example don't worry about that Okay, so suppose what I have to do, I have to uh, get some let n1 equal to uh, 3. Okay, let n2 equal to 6. Let some no. Yeah, sum only. Let sum equal to, okay, what I want to have. Sum over here, what we can have. A 
if I am passing something like this, n1 plus n2, okay, sorry, n2 over here. And what I want to do now, document dot get element by ID data dot in HTML equal to evolve evolve sum okay over here what we are getting we are getting nine as a result okay so what is happening over here we are just getting the similar thing what we have over here suppose why we evolve is used okay sometimes what happens like suppose if we want to have something like this within the quotes if i am writing okay now you can see over here what I'm getting. I'm getting this particular expression, whatever I have written over here. So if I use this, now I'm getting my result. When I'm not using evolve over here, over here what we are getting, we are getting the expression, whatever we are typing over here. So some in some scenarios, we might have this kind of uh, requirement like I want that calculations means I want that uh, uh, operand and operator within that quotes. Okay. At that time, we can use evolve to produce the output and show on our browser. Is it is it clear now? But I would not recommend uh, this to be used, evolve. Okay. Okay. Whenever you are doing such kind of thing, just uh, uh, try to have in different, different uh, variables and then you can call that particular variables and do our uh, your further calculations, something like that. Okay. Because uh, I think um, uh, in some of the articles, it was mentioned like uh, evolve should not be used because uh, third party uh, threats uh, are uh, prone to your code or something like that. So I'm not uh, very much fan of this evolve method. Okay. But uh, uh, better you ask that like others also should know and you also should know all these things. So that's it for this. And what is next? Let's have date let's have date so what we can have over here if i write anything similar to if I want to have date on my screen, okay, if I want to have date on my screen, so what I can do something like this. Uh, I want uh, EM. Okay, and over here I'm giving ID as today okay today and now over here what i want to have script tag and inside that let me have a variable my date equal to oh straight away what i can do okay i can have something like this cons today new date okay and after that what i can do i can target document dot 
get element by id what is the id of that element is today and over here i can have inner html equal to today so did you notice over here what i am getting i am getting today's date in emphasized way italics way okay so something like that we can have with this particular date method okay so this is uh, this is uh, it from uh, here for date method and now what we can do much more in this date method okay so we are going to see that as well over here let's see like suppose if i want to have uh, we can say let's see methods Okay, let's see methods for that what I want to show you. Okay, so suppose over here what I want to display I do not want everything like whatever I have in this particular uh, data, whatever I can see. I want something like dot get date. Okay, you can see some methods we have like from today, this date will be everything, whatever we got over here from here to till here. Okay. From that, we are extracting some data, what we want, okay? So if I want get, uh, if I want date only, I can have something like that, okay? If I want uh, to have day, so I can have this, okay? Okay, now let's have something which is called uh, full year. Okay, full year. Let's have full year. So you can see 20 to 20, 23 we are getting over here. Okay, now let's, let's have a dot. Suppose I want to show time. Okay, over here you can see what is the time. Okay, if I refresh over here, I'm getting something like this. So time is basically calculated in milliseconds. Okay. So over here, you can see we are getting milliseconds. Uh, what is the current time that is shown in our milliseconds? Okay. So something like that, we have n number of methods in our uh, JavaScript basically. So what we have next thing. Next, we have, uh, let's have month. We can see fourth. Why it is showing four? It should show me five, right? What is this? May. What is showing me? Let's have a date. Suppose I have 23. Okay. I have a zero five and today's is 30. Okay. So I got this and over here, if I put get date where was that day oh, no what was that uh, month yeah month get month uh, why to show me four it should show me five 
Uh, just a sec. Okay, it is showing me four only. Okay, no worries. So I'll let you know why it is happening something like this. Is there any problem in this? Okay, so these are all the methods what we can uh, have over here. Okay. Mm, I'm not sure. I think month, uh, get month. Let me have over here 10. If I get 10, it should show me 9 then. Correct, correct, correct. Oh, I was thinking like uh, which month I am in. Like over here, you can see when we use. Yeah, correct, correct. You are right, Ayushi. So, uh, what is it is giving us? It is giving us the index value. Okay. It is giving the us the index value. What I was expecting, I was expecting current, uh, current month name or current month uh, number basically I was looking for so that was the glitch over here okay so what we have next we have month nine okay correct uh, so all these methods are there uh, basically what happens we generally use uh, time, uh, date, I think, basically on, on the screen. Okay. So, with the help of these methods, you can just uh, find out like what you want to show on your screen. And uh, depending upon that, you can show that as well. Okay. And uh, there was one another method that was uh, two, two string day dot to string date string okay yes okay i wanted to show this as well like most of the time you will be seeing something like this like today is it is it monday i thought it, it is uh, tuesday okay um so okay okay i have changed over here let me just remove this. Okay. Tuesday. It's Tuesday only. So, over here you can see with the help of this two date string, we can have a day, month, date, and year. Okay. Next method is what? Two, two string, two local time string okay see what it is showing me mostly you will be seeing that date method or you will be seeing this thing timestamp on your screen so with the help of these things you can very well achieve on your screen is it clear everyone Just let me know in the chat box, please, so that we can just, uh, okay, okay, fine. Thank you. Okay, so with this, uh, we will wind up the session today, over here only. And uh, from tomorrow, we will be uh, starting with uh, our bootstrap. Okay, and I'll be, what I'll be doing, I'll be uploading all this, all today's video also, and I'll be uploading all this Course, whatever I have done on my GitHub repository, from there you can download JavaScript GitHub repository and you can all uh, practice from here. Okay, so till then, good night everyone. See you all tomorrow at 10 p.m. sharp. Thank you.
थैंक यू